citizens of the Reject Nation. Hello, my name's Aaron. Who we have here? We got Andrew here. Howdy, Aaron. We got one Andrew Gordon here. We're here to watch A Million Ways to Die in the West. That's why I'm talking here in this old uh, accent, as they like to say. I've never seen this movie, but I know uh, uh, I know it's about uh, one Mr. Seth Rogen. Nope, Seth, Seth McFarlane. McFarlane. That's the guy. He knows the stuff about the movies. the movies. You guys, leave a comment about this dang movie if you like it, if you've seen it. We're going to go and embark on this whole dang thing. Like, subscribe, hit that notification, notification bell, bell because Tara isn't here. She is healing up, so send your comments down below because we miss her, we love her, and we will see her return to sing that bell song as she does so well. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Full length reactions over on the Patreon where you sync up with your own dang copy so you can watch it with us in real time like we're old buddies, like we're old pals, guys. John and Greg cover several things exclusively over there. A lot of movies, a lot of shows. You're going to love it. You're going to have a great old time. All right. Are you ready to watch a million days riding the west? Let's do it. All right, then. Yeehaw. <laughs> Andrew, you're a connoisseur in westerns. Have you seen a lot of them? Uh, not too many, the, but I would say my favorite western is Back to the Future Part 3. How about you? Django Unchained. <laughs> I, I have not, I have not, not see, seen Django? I have not seen very many Quentin Tarantino films at all. I'm already getting that western feel. I like it. Now, I wonder what's like the line between being a genuine western and being a parody as we watch this. Well, I mean, I've only seen Ted, and I've watched Family Guy, but obviously Seth MacFarlane loves raunchy comedy, so... He also loves his comedy cutaways, a staple of that man. Ah, we got a couple returning cast members from Ted. Yep, Patrick Harris, okay! Sarah Silverman surprisingly doesn't seem like an odd choice to be in this movie. But Liam Neeson, West, I'm shocked. West Studio? Oh, wow. Who's that? Uh, well, he was Sagat in Street Fighter. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, he was also in uh, Last of the Mohicans. Uh, he's in so many th different movies. I understand this is an homage to how movies used to do it back in the day, but I'm happy they don't do this anymore. Could you imagine sitting through credits in the theater for like six minutes? Yeah. Some people are born into the wrong time and place. This was the American frontier in 1882. A hard land for hard folk. Food was scarce, disease was rampant, and life was a daily struggle for survival. Damn. Hell, this was Miss America in 1880. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> <laughs> to build a home and a life in this harsh, unforgiving country required that a man be bold and tough as iron. The men who were courageous and resilient were the men who prospered, but some men were just big giants. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, you showed up, Stark. Yeah, well, you said you'd kill my family and burn my house down if I didn't, so. Is there anything at all that I can say to get you to call this off? <laughs> <laughs> you yellow, Stark? Well, that's a little racist to <laughs> our hardworking friends over here from the Far East, right, guys? But <laughs> <laughs> the fake stashes. Let's talk this out. You know, we can find a calm, rational solution. Maybe we even laugh about it one day, you know? I ain't in the mood to laugh. Oh, hey, look, this will make you laugh. Look at our shadows. Looks like our shadows are about to kiss each other. <laughs> oh my god, Charlie. Oh my god, thank you. So you're this is so generous of you. <laughs> look, look, we're laughing, right? We're laughing now. What, what were we even fighting about? I, I can't remember. Can you? Oh. I'll pay you the money you lost. Just give me two days to sell off a few of my sheep. I don't have that cash. I'm coming after you. What a relief for all these people who came out here hoping that we would find an amicable solution to this, huh? Somebody shoot some fucker! <laughs> <laughs> Point out, that guy's an English teacher at our school. Oh my god. Just a little taste. Just a little taste. Ah, ah, just a little taste. I like the balance between the serious and the... Like Comedy. the parody. Yeah, no, it's funny. I mean, I tell him I'll pay him off. We go our separate ways, and that's it. But no, he shoots me in the f***ing leg. <laughs> <laughs> you should have fought him. I should have fought him? She's like, yeah, you really are. The guy is one of the best shots around. I look like I have Parkinson's next to him. What is that? 
It's just another way God mysteriously shows that he loves us. But look, look. Albert, I'm breaking up with you. Of course, as I talk about Back to the Future Part 3. Why don't you just tell me what the problem is, and then maybe I can fix it. Maybe if I were older, the timing would be right. But people are living to be 35 these days. A girl doesn't have to just go off and get married right away. I have to work on myself. Oh my God! You did not just say that. I have to work on myself, <laughs> Louise. That's the oldest line in the book. You realize that? <laughs> yep. It's not you. It's me. Right. I love you. I'm sorry. Maybe when he becomes a somebody, she'll come back. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Someone's gonna eat on. Yeah. You like me, don't you? I do. It's really terrific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, Hi, another Ted. Uh, oh, and Family Guy. Yeah, it's Lois. I thought I'd take her out for a picnic. And oh, like damn. She's just about up there. Oh, poor guy. Dirty cowboy all over my oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're okay with your girlfriend's 15 different guys every day and getting paid to do it? Oh, well, my job it's, sucks, too. It's how we make a living. <laughs> well, I got off work early, and I thought we could go for a walk by the street. Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh yeah. Oh, no, no. Um. So wait to kiss me. Get get some mouthwash. Don't I have the best boyfriend, Millie? <laughs> Honestly, I I have no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with breath, Andrew. That's a true sign of love. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get up there. Bad goats can. Climb, right? I don't know about goats, but not sheep. Yeah, I don't know about sheep. Hey guys, we heard about Louise. I, I that's horrible. Do you you want to sit down? I'm good. I'm gonna rest my soul. <laughs> Just looking at these old pictures of me and Louise. This is from the carnival. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> they look like a happy couple. Oh. This is the square dance. <laughs> Why did they do that back then? Have you ever smiled in a photograph? No, have you? Oh, God, no. No, you look like an insane person. But right? Mm. That's what I'm saying. Nah, dude, keep that stone face up. I say that because I suck at smiling, so. <laughs> she was the one thing that made the shootings and the diseases and the wild animals and the Indians and the general depressing awfulness about the West bearable. I didn't realize how tall he was. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's get... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the answer to everyone's problems. The age old tradition. Forget your troubles. Let's kill our livers. What is there to live for on the frontier in 1882? The American West is a disgusting, awful, dirty, dangerous place. Look around you. Everything out here that's not you wants to kill you. Outlaws, angry drunk people, scorned fuckers, hungry animals. Uh. You, you can get killed just going to the bathroom. There's fucking rattlesnakes all in the grass out there. And, and even if I make it, you know what can kill me? Cholera. The black mm. The black <laughs> Even if you survive all those things, you know what else can kill you? The fucking doctor. <laughs> oh, you need an ear nail. A, a nail in my fucking ear. That is modern medicine for you. A doc, I have a fever of 102. Oh, you need a donkey kicking. <laughs> Constipation, cramps, dyspepsia, liver disease, kidney disease, Damn. hemorrhoids. It's like the smartest guy ever in 1882. Right. Literally die from their own farts. <laughs> <laughs> that is our mayor. He is dead. He has been lying there dead for three days. The highest ranking official in our town has been a dead guy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> As if to illustrate my point. Bye. Bye, Mr. Mayor. Bye. Have fun becoming wolf. <laughs> I want to live in the American West. The <laughs> cesspool of despair and all of it. Why don't you shut up? You shut up. Ow. I don't know. Maybe you should try to talk to Louise. That's a great idea. Yeah? That's the jackpot. I but still got it. Okay. okay. There it I is. Have good ideas sometimes. I didn't mean now. <laughs> oh because talking to your ex while you're drunk is always a great idea oh i'm excited to see him ride a horse drunk. you're gonna get exactly what you want oh god here we go surprise didn't fall 
It's taking a lot of rehearsal for that. Bet she has a new man already. Probably. Yeah. Maybe it's Neil Patrick Harris. Maybe, Ooh. It's, maybe it's Liam Neeson. Oh, yeah. Could be that, too. Hey. Hey. Albert. What the hell are you doing? Louise, we need to talk. Louise, please listen to me. I love you, okay? I'm sure you're right for somebody else. Just not for me. Wait, let me just touch you. Uh. <laughs> I heard you fart once. And it went football. It was a sharp one, sharp a little sharpie poop toot. And I heard. <laughs> I really did think she was gonna have a guy there, but yeah, same. Come on, boy, hey, quiet down, lover. Whoa, 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 you. Uh, we'll be taking that gold off you. Howdy, folks. Howdy. Oh, there he what is. What can I do for you fellas? Well, we're riding through to Sherman Creek. Be obliged you could tell us the shortest route. Liam Neeson, hey. I can help you with that. Uh, I got a map right here. Uh, clearly they want your gold, sir. I I'd take Bilby Pass. Safer, too. Less chance of bandits and such. Uh, one more thing you might do for us. Die. You show us the gold. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I ain't got no gold. I wish. <laughs> Old Plugger and I done give it up. We're going on back into town. You're heading back to town in the middle of the day. The prospector only does that when he's found gold to sell. Ooh. Going into town to get I might just have a little bit of gold. Here, take it. Pick up your gun. Well, I'm not just going to take your gold. That'll be stealing. Oh, no. Bye-bye, Mr. Prospector. Ugh. <laughs> uh. We shoot on three. Oh man. One. Oh. Two. Wow, he's a cheater. Oh. Clinch. You didn't have to shoot him. Clinch. No, I didn't have to, sweetheart. He would have given you the gold. The point is, I had to ask him twice. You're a son of a bitch, is what you are. <gasps> Don't you ever say that to me in front of my man. The man's wife will respect him. Oh. Oh my god, I love you. I'm like the luckiest girl ever in the history of girls. <laughs> Very convincing. I'm not expecting them to be married. Lewis, you take Anna and ride east and hole up here in the old stump. Aww. Yeah. Oh, take that dog yet. She gonna pet that dog. She gonna keep that dog. That does suck for that old guy. Guess the lesson here is don't lie to Liam Neeson. Well, right. look who's up at two in the afternoon. Get your life taken. We literally just had a conversation about waking up at two in the afternoon before we started shooting. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm going to use the outhouse. If I die out there, will you guys just do me one favor? I want you to switch seats. He's going to say erase my search history. Your Western search history? Yeah. <clears throat> Albert, you look terrible. Oh, wow, there's that contact. Is that cut? Healed? Thanks a lot. How you doing, buddy? I'll take it it's days have passed at this point. Oh. Gee, I haven't seen you in town in a week and a half. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. I just feel like I need to stay here with my parents. They're not going to be around much longer. I'm gonna give back all the love and affection that I got growing up. Right, guys? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get out of this funk. I mean, you, you haven't shown your sheep in weeks. Oh no. You're going home every night to your girlfriend who loves you. You're having sex with her. And uh, you... no. Ruth and I have. What? Damn. Wow. Everyone else gets to do that with her but you? Right. That's wild. No, Ruth wants to wait till we get married. Oh, you know, come she's on. She's a Christian and so am I. And... <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. They have an interesting relationship. Have you ever had sex with anyone? Well, there was some shit with my uncle, but that was... Oh! What? No! Oh, my God. This got dark really quickly. I'll get out. I'll meet some people. Yeah, thanks. Okay. <laughs> that came out of my penis. Yeah. <laughs> that should have made me laugh. That was dumb. Me, personally, I'm over fart jokes. Um, I th Dumb and Dumber did it perfectly, and then yeah, it's been done to death after that. Edward, look, look. Oh, no, you were right. You called it. Hey, Neil Patrick Harris. He's irresistible. She 
told me she didn't want to see anybody. She told me she had to work on herself. Look at that. Fucking Foy, the owner of the mustachery. Oh, look at that. He's kissing her. Us men with mustaches were irresistible. <laughs> I can't afford it. The creams, the waxes, the lotions. I don't have the money. <laughs> it's true. It is expensive to have a mustache. Oh, hey, look. It's the ice. And itchy. Uh-oh. That's going to land on somebody. That's so neat. I know, it's actually really interesting how they do it. It's this one company out in Boston. Had to get a Baston reference in for Seth MacFarlane. And lakes and ponds, and they just ship it. Oh! 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 That went south so fast! Oh! Jesus. Oh. Jeez. No more Whew. shall they nibble wantonly at the teeth of our coffers. Now, we'd also like to offer a heartfelt prayer to the family of james addison i thought i was gonna land on somebody like entirely not somebody's face. yeah 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 james we will think of you lovingly this july as we sip the cold summer beverages for which you gave your life you're still gonna use them ice Ew. <laughs> <laughs> lewis barnes and his sister anna they just moved here to old stump and they plan to build a farm well that concludes today's service so may god bless you for another week and there is a mountain lion warning in effect it's oh wow! A mountain lion warning in effect. I'm sure. <laughs> the mustachery. That's awesome. You love it there, Andrew. Oh, I I would so go there. I was thinking that we could go dress shopping later. I was Shh. thinking you need a new dress. <laughs> Something expensive? Stupidly expensive. Yeah, yeah. You think she's gonna become jealous when she sees Charlize Theron with Seth? What's up, kiddo? Never seen you in here before. Just. Browsing. You don't have a mustache, though. I might get one. I said I was thinking about growing one. Like one of those ones that goes down along the side of my mouth. The edge of my jaw. And then becomes my sideburns. A Mobius mustache. Mobius mustache, that's the one. <laughs> you should know that kind of mustache is a very costly facial accessory. <laughs> You're a sheep farmer. Yeah. Oh. Know your place. Stealing a guy's girlfriend, that's what you're doing. You feel good about that? Hey, Louise dumped you, my friend. It's not my fault she wanted someone with more to offer. Ooh. I can give her a lavish home, warm blankets, wrapped candies. And a mustache. You know, fuck you, man. Yeah, that's what she's doing. Oh. Damn, he's got some good comebacks. He's smooth with it. And PH even, don't miss. Even in 1882. And PH don't miss. PH don't miss. Oh, hey, sweetie. Hi. Hi, Mark. Hey, Ed. Oh, oh. What a long day. Poor guy. Gotta earn a living. <laughs> what do you think about us spending the night together? But, Eddie, we're Christians. And I want to do the correct thing in the eyes of the Lord. <laughs> but if we really do love each other, don't you think God would be okay with it? You're talking about premarital relations. Oh! Oh, God. Damn it. <laughs> oh, <Sam>. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark. Ugh. I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm going to San Francisco. I don't know how I lasted this long. I hate the frontier. I hate everything in it. Well, what am I going to do? I'm your best friend. That's why I want you to have these. It's like, why don't you steal a teddy bear? Albert, these are your favorite socks. Yeah. And I want you to have that. Oh! Oh! You're gross. Edward, this is your lucky handkerchief. Not lucky anymore. Well, hello to <laughs> you. <Yeah. laughs> oh, God. Blow your own horns. <laughs> Hey, watch it, pal. I think you owe me a drink, Bill. You best watch where you stand. I'm thirsty. And why don't you go on down the river and take a dunk? Could be wrong, but I believe this actor was in Eight Mile, one of Eminem's friends. Mm. Also, never seen Eight Mile. Ah, be a good watch for you. It's my mom. Yeah, Curtis Hansen did that one. Hmm. Wow. Definitely gonna make it tastier. You gonna kill oh, you? Imagined. Woo! Hey! Ah! Yeah. Albert, hurry! Get in position! Damn! Oh! 
Yeah. Yeah. We're both getting hurt pretty badly. That's smart of them. That's smart to do. Ah! This fight is way more violent than your. Looks like they're doing rock 'em sock 'em. <laughs> oh. I love how unfazed she looks. Oh! Oh! That yeah, was actually gonna hit him. So sorry, you. I put a new move in there. You don't just put a new move in. You. That's why we have the meeting. That's why we have the meetings. It wouldn't be a western without a bar fight. Ah! Oh! Wow! 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 Love interest. Are you keeping count of all the ways to die in the West? Have we had a million yet? I think we have. <laughs> we were close. We had a whole scene laying out all of them. Yeah, we've seen ice. We've seen stabbings. Farting. Stained handkerchiefs. Who's this? This is Plugger. Hey, Plugger. That was your brother in there, huh? Yeah, Lewis. He's always been a little rambunctious. I'm, I'm uh, Albert, by the way. Welcome to our awesome town. Thanks. This is how you get over someone, Aaron. That's how you get over someone. Getting under someone. We were wanting a change, so we came out to the frontier looking to build a farm. Oh, that's what I do. Cattle? Uh, no, sheep. Well, that's gotta be fulfilling work, though. Hey, it's like being a dog walker for 150 really stupid dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, oh, plug my it. God. No, 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 plug it. Plug it. <laughs> ah. Ah. Jesus, what is that? It's the mayor. Uh. It's the mayor. Oh. So how did you guys meet? She moved to town a couple years ago to take over the school marm job. Our old school marm got her throat slipped by a fast-moving tumbleweed. In front of the kids? Oh, yeah. Mm. Let me help you. <laughs> we were together. I just remember thinking, how can I possibly be this happy? She likes me now, but one day she's going to figure out that she's too good for me. It sounds like you've been over backwards for this girl, but what has she given you back? I told you, she allowed me to be happy. Mm. Allowed. Mm. That's kind of f***ed up that you would use that word. You know that, right? <laughs> this Foy guy is that much of a douche. She'll figure it out if she's smart. Solid advice. Sometimes a girl has to get a few assholes out of her system before she realizes what a good guy looks like. <laughs> it's actually my first cigarette ever. <laughs> mm, definitely a cigarette. <laughs> Wait, ah, looks like tobacco. Rattlesnake! Oh, yeah. Rattle on. Oh, Diamondback. Just, it's okay. Just hold perfectly still and it'll go away. Okay, okay. Now I'm nervous. I'm not even in the movie. Isn't the fair on Saturday? Louise is going to be there, and she's going to be with Foy, and I'm going to put myself in her in aggravation. Yeah, well, I'll go with you. No better way really? to make your ex-girlfriend want you back more than to let her see you with another girl. Exactly. Too bad she's going to end up with Liam Neeson in the end. Totally. She's totally going to stay with her husband and not leave him for Seth MacFarlane. You shot the pastor's son. You realize they're probably going to hang you for this. Who gives a f what they want? When Clinch gets into town, it's not going to matter what they do. Why'd you guys split off? Oh, he went to sell the gold, right? When he do that in town where they are? There's going to be a man who's faster than Clinch. And then Clinch is going to be the dead man. And I'm going to smoke a cigar to celebrate. I don't think Clinch would like you talking about him that way. So what she's saying is she's obsessively in love with him. Let's see if he gets here before you find yourself at the end of a rope. I was just thinking that. What's the timetable and when he's going to probably get hung? I feel like it's usually a week. I don't know that for a fact. I just think that's... Sounds like an estimated good time. I feel like for it was hanging. the pastor's son. They would maybe expedite it, but we shall see. Oh no 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 guys no 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 Andrew Jonathan no Andrew <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've never seen it separated like that in two words. Photo Photograph. graphs. <laughs> Don't you freaking smile! Looks I swear. like a looks like a prison photo, <laughs> like a mugshot. Supposedly there's some guy in Texas who smiled one time while he was getting his picture taken. That, we were just talking about that last week. Is that true? No, I mean, I heard it somewhere. I don't know if it's true. Everybody hold still. Holy Whoa. shit. What the Whoa. hell? Holy shit. That's another duet. <laughs> That's oh, another yeah. way to die. God, this f***ing fair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Step right up. Try a sample of Sir. Oh, my God. Do you recognize this actor? 
Oh, it looks so familiar. Saved by the Bell, the principal. That's right. Ogden's celebrated stomach bitters. Can I just ask, celebrated by who? Look at the ingredients. Cook alcohol, morphine. Oh, I want to try that so badly. Mercury with I chocolate. need it. Science! And red, <laughs> flannel. Re red flannel? There's shirt Red flannel! Pieces of shirt. <laughs> it gives it a little kick. Right. Makes you feel like a lumberjack. That's them. Right there. Uh, uh, quick, let's uh, pretend you just said something funny. Oh my god, you are, you are. <laughs> just introduce me. Introduce, oh, okay. Come on, okay. introduce. Oh! Uh, this is Anna. She's. I'm his girlfriend. She's my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. She's the new GF. <laughs> the new GF. Big time. A lot of sexual activity. I live inside her. So if you want to send me a letter, you got to address it care of her. Type of relationship we all aspire to have. I have that skirt. Yep. Oh, you do? Yeah, I wore it to the fair like two years ago. But good for you for trying to bring it back. Well, I figure only a complete idiot would throw away a perfectly good thing. Yee. We were gonna go check out the shooting gallery over there. You guys wanna join? What? Oh, yes. And let's make things interesting. <laughs> a nickel, a target. Can you afford that? Uh, how about a penny? What's the matter, mm. Albert? Is business bad? I understood that joke. I get it. <laughs> Good Lord, Albert, you're such a sheepskate. Oh! oh. <laughs> they're so dumb that they're actually funny. Oh, wow. That seems unnecessary. What's wrong with, like, ducks or... Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> okay. There you go, ma'am. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Care to try? It's like, yes, I played at my local 7-Eleven. I got mm. this. Mm. Seems you owe me six cents. Wait, hang on a sec. You want to make this interesting? If I can shoot six out of six on Albert's behalf, you owe him a dollar. Ooh. A dollar? I've never seen a dollar. Nobody's got a dollar. Let us see the dollar. Oh, that's one of the producers. A whole dollar? Alex Sulkis, I believe his name is. Ah. The guy said, I've never seen a dollar. How fast can this thing go? Hey, you can play double or triple speeds, but that's for the experts. As fast as you can. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Damn. Whoa. No. Congratulations, you're a winner. I just meant her skills. I don't approve. I just meant the skills, not the actual game itself. I don't condone. <laughs> I just meant how good she was. There it is. It's beautiful. Wow, Andrew. <laughs> just playing with you. I know, I know. <laughs> a man whose girlfriend does his shooting for him. Isn't that a fine how do you do? <laughs> oh! <laughs> How, how is that funny? Why, why is, what's funny about that? How do you do as a greeting? Why, why is that funny? You, why, why are you laughing? I don't know. He was laughing. Is that Ewan you and McGregor? McGregor? Obi-Wan. Oh, wow. What a funny. He should have been like, hello there. Never been more serious in my life. You and me, pistols. You wouldn't have a prayer, kiddo. Tomorrow, 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> that duck is so goofy looking. Why don't we say a week from today? I got sheep stuff I got to do tomorrow anyway. Uh -huh. I honestly, I have no idea what just happened. I was, I, I was like out of my body. Albert, I, did you see the look on Louise's face? No, why? It's like he became a man. You had a fire in your belly for a second there, pal. Yeah, I, I don't have that side to me. I honestly don't know what Albert, just happened. You got her attention. I mean, you might die in a week, but you got her attention. I'm sick to my stomach. I'm, my stomach is You're enough. worked up. That's what it is. Let's get a drink. Hey, it's our sweet young couple. Could I interest you folks in some wild root cream oil? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did you get jump scared too? I kind of saw it coming to be honest. Oh, really? <laughs> I've picked up on the fact that every scene ends with a comedic bit. I haven't seen enough movies to know that was coming. It seems like yeah, every every almost every scene ends with something funny happening or someone dying. or someone dying, which was meant to be funny. Hey, why are you being so nice to me? You show up out of nowhere. You're this complete anomaly in my world of terribleness out here. I mean, you must have a million better things to do than this. A million? I just don't know anything about you. Well, you know? can I ask you something about you? Yeah. Flip the tables, that's right. 
Why do you love Louise? Mm. We, we did this already. Classy, she's fun, she's insanely gorgeous. Hey, no, look, she's really pretty, yes, but I, I don't see what else she's got going for her. My impression was that she was a little sour and self-absorbed. And like, she is so much cooler than her. You yeah. act like this girl was performing some kind of a charitable act by dating you. Albert, you're a catch. Yeah. You've made something of yourself out here. You know, a lot of people can't say that. You're a good sheep farmer. I suck at sheep. Stop cutting yourself down. There was a sheep in the house last week. Wandered in there, and then when I went to pick it up, somehow it had made $20. <laughs> Aim up, sheep boy. Uh, oh. Hey. Is it someone else who shot it? <laughs> I just realized there were Family Guy episodes that did, you know, the Star Wars episodes. So it was mm -hmm. cool to see Ewan McGregor there because he's Seth MacFarlane's such a huge Star Wars fan. Ah. I love those Star Wars Family Guy episodes. So good. I think I saw them like once or a long time oh, ago. Oh, they're so good, funny. I know we have a dangerous job to do here, but I'm taking this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that works. That's right. Pull. 3D. It's going to hit him, right? In the face, yep. Ooh. Yep. <sighs> oh, oh, Jesus. Just like he called out earlier. Like the doctors with their weird methods. Oh. Nice. This has got to be interesting for her because he's the exact opposite of her husband. A good, honest man. Okay, getting a little bit better. It's getting better, slowly but surely. Hey, yes! Oh no, his yeah. dad. God damn it, Albert! No more friends! All right, make a fart, Dad. You have earned one of Anna Barnes' very special, super, super secret cookies. Wait, mm -hmm. what is this? I, I, I do. I was just thinking that. The last time somebody gave me one of these, I became convinced that prairie you dogs could read my mind. Just dig a little bit. You can get so messed up doing that. <gasps> there you go. There. Oh my god, he's going to be so big. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's freaking the hell out. It's really weird. Yep. Sure enough. Like, is it supposed to be like this? She's got such a high tolerance for it though. You gave me the right amount, right? Like you don't you Oh my god. <laughs> he's paranoid. He, he's like on a roller coaster right now. That's not stopping. Right. right. See? See? Bones are there you really go. Deep today. Like, there's a lot more. <laughs> I think my body is padding up for the winter, which is weird because it's not winter, but there's a lot, just a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Anna, what? he knows. What? He knows. What? He knows what we're doing. He knows what this is. I don't want to. No, I don't. I don't want to join. I don't want to join. That was a sweet scene. I like yeah. that. One. I like I like all their scenes together. I think they're. They have good chemistry. Yeah. They, and I like their interactions. She's got a way of just boosting his morale and confidence. I like it. Supper time, you lazy. Oh, fake sleeping. Damn, waste of lungs. Oh, it's no. a trap. Yep. Twas a trap. Ooh, ooh. Who's lazy now, Sheriff? Sorry, dude. You were able to survive rush hour, but not this movie. Wouldn't be a western without a dance. It, she she is stunning. I don't know why he still got eyes for Louise. Because he doesn't he because he views himself so low. He doesn't no, even imagine I, her as a possibility. I know. Well, there we go. Wow. I think he's uh the tables are starting to turn. Oh shit! I'm totally overdressed, aren't I? And the lady at the boutique told me to buy this, and no one else is wearing this. I mean, who cares what these are all? But you. you <laughs> <laughs> I like your bustle, by the way. Oh, yeah. I really love that the most alluring... What? And then I'd lift it up and I'd be like, ah, oh, shit, it's a big joke. I know, exactly. Because look, when you lift it up, there's nothing but a metal cage under there. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> well, at the very least, this will be a good way to spend my last night alive, right? Confidence. Do you trust me? Y yeah, I do. Good. You're going to be fine. wonder if she's going to help him from somewhere. Thank 
you. Hey, hey, it's great to be back here in Old Stump. Hey, any Indians here tonight? Oh, God. Bill, Bill Maher. Maher. That's an interesting cameo. Okay, they're giving me the lantern. Enjoy the bison, and I hope you're enjoying your drinks as much as my horse enjoyed making them for you. <laughs> you men who long for love, you may not have the looks. You may not have the dash. Go and just flip. If you've only got a mustache, a hey. mustache, a mustache. But you needn't be a king to make any maiden of the name. You may not have the cash, but you'll make that girl your own if you've only got a mustache. Hey, how? Shut you out. You're wondering how to get in. Well, here is my advice. <laughs> get it. Getting his practice in. Get it in, buddy. If you only got a mustache. Mustache. Oh. Mustache. Oh. Mustache, thick mustache, mm. my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. You know what I would do if I were Seth or Albert? What would you do? Shave his mustache in the middle of the night. Mm. Pro strats. Nice. Oh. oh. Smart. Gonna get him so messed up for the next day. Give him the poopies. I guess it's kind of weird knowing that a woman can outshoot you, huh? Um, if you don't mind, my girlfriend and I are enjoying each other's company. Want to know the real kicker, though? I can outdrink you, too. A man can't say no to a challenge like that. 50 cents to the winner. One, two, three. <laughs> Shit! Don't feel bad. Alcohol doesn't harmonize well with a woman's frail constitution anyway. I guess not. Yes, trick him by activating his ego. Put fragility in defense mode. You have the nicest guy in the world throwing himself at your feet, and here you are with this complete asshole. Ooh. Who I go out with is my own business. Why don't you mind your own, bitch? Ooh. Are you so blind. Oh, snap. The eyes that big. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that big. Oh my dear, they're practically Chinese. <laughs> I like how that. Uh, uh, oh God. I, just, I, I, I like how that's all she took from that conversation. How big her eyes are. Um, we'll keep us warm though. <sighs> are you cold? A little. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. It's okay. No, it's fine. It's the manly thing to do. I just want to say thank you. I couldn't have gotten this far without you, and I think I can do it. Hmm. I still feel like I don't know anything about you. I feel like every time I bring it up, you change the subject. My story is a lot like yours, I suppose. I hate the West just as much as you do. Do you really? Oh, I like you even more now. <laughs> <laughs> there is something about connecting over mutual hatred that's just so much deeper than mutual love. It's true, right? right? If two true. people hate the same things, it's it's, it creates a bond. It really does, actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bridget. Bridget. Yeah, she knows. <laughs> What is this? This is just a little something to say thank you. Okay, don't get too excited. What is it? What is it? What is it? A picture. Oh, it can't be a picture. The burn. Oh, it is a picture. Oh, the guy that smiled. Oh. He was in Texas, I think. He's yeah. smiling. Isn't that amazing? I bought that off a peddler who was coming through town last week. This is the guy I was telling you about. This guy would have had to sit there and smile for 30 sustained <laughs> seconds. I know. <laughs> I've never been happy for 30 seconds <laughs> in a row. <laughs> no one has. <laughs> Is that Richard Mall? I can't tell in the picture. Rest in peace if it is. Voice of Two Face in Batman the Animated Series. No one's ever done anything like this for me. Oh, oh. come on now. <laughs> Thank you. Kiss! Kiss a kiss a girl. A million ways to kiss in the West. Feel the moment. Yeah. Sure Liam Neeson's gonna be happy about that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. That was very genuine. It's fine. You've just been a really good friend to me. That's all. Just a friend? I actually love these scenes where they're a little more serious and yeah. a little more ro on the romantic side. Like, those are actually my favorite scenes. Same. They're, yeah, they're really I mean, nice the comedy together. is still, like, I'm enjoying most of the comedy, but. Yeah, the comedy's all right. <laughs> but all the scenes with them are awesome. Yeah, oh, this is my favorite part of the movie, these yeah. two. Good luck tomorrow. I'm going to be there. Good. <laughs> as sweet as this is, I bet it's going to end with a bit. Uh, probably. <laughs> but what's the bit? It's going to undercut everything we've just done. Yeah! There, woo, there, woo, there, woo, there, woo, woo. There, is that the bit? <laughs> 
A genuine scene? We're gonna end genuinely? Oh no! Oh, no. Okay. Damn, he saw it. Oh, well, I guess you could say Liam Neeson's eyes were there, so he technically was there. What the hell? It's Doc Brown. He's working on an invention. Huh. Electricity. Hello? Oh, they have electricity. Hey! Oh, my I God! called it! You're no oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, I wow. called that! Wow. That was just a joke I was saying, too. Hey! What an experiment. I swear I did not know that was in there. I promise you guys. I did not know. I wow, I didn't know either. I swear God. on everything. That's awesome! I That's swear so on every dope. I swear on everything. I was just saying that as a joke. That's crazy. But it did end with the joke. Yeah. We did call it. I promise. That was That was a great joke. Wow. That was awesome. He always smells like sheep, but he doesn't deserve to be shot. Louise, my decision is final. Now do it. I am really tired. Louise. Oh my god, really telling her to do what I think he's Yeah. Yeah. Uh Uh oh. Oh, oh no. and then what she gave him. I had the rungs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he'll be able to show up, but he might have to go to the restroom a bunch. Gives uh, our boy the upper hand because he got the poopies. Dow. Of course, of course. I think he's in the bathroom. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Messed up. Oh. Well now. Mm. I think you'd show, sheepy. Yeah. Listen, Foy. I... <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh Lord. It is hat is crazy. I think this is worse than being shot is in front There's of no everyone. There's no poop in that hat. It's a lie. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't know why. That, that guy I just me. walk. If I'm the other, the third guy there, I'm walking away. That's my. Oh! No! no! <laughs> that will never get out of my head now. I don't need to see that. I can't see that. <laughs> now I can't unsee that. Listen, Foy. Uh -huh. She's all yours. You know, I really do care about you. I don't know, somewhere along the line, I guess I just forgot that a relationship is a two-way street. Yeah, buddy. That part. I've been reminded recently of what it's like to have somebody care about me. Yeah, buddy. And I like it. So, if you want to spend the rest of your life with a <laughs> full of hair... <laughs> you know, I just realized that last joke might not have been clear. I didn't mean that she has a hairy... I meant that <laughs> boy has a mustache, so... Oh, Aaron I, and I it. understood we it. We got it. He gets hair... It's okay. In her. We understand. We got. We good. Goes down there. Uh, we, we got it, Seth. That was unnecessary. Appreciate you, Seth. Yep. Right back at you, buddy. Anna? Go we'll get your woman! She's not there. Hey, do you, do you think you guys are going to have. At some point. I don't know. You do let us know because maybe we can make it a lot, you know, like. Oh. <laughs> we can all get in sync together. Edward, we are not having sex. Sorry. Ruth, let's... Ugh. Coming. Oh. I hate that for you, buddy. Now you need a Char Charlize Theron to help you out with your confidence. Who's the man who's hooked up with my wife? To be fair to Seth MacFarlane, he had no idea she was married. He didn't. She wouldn't She wouldn't say him a thing I, about her life. I think uh, he's a guy who doesn't give a crap. Right. Shot an old guy for lying to him twice. Clearly, MPH gives a crap. Even one of my boys saw a man kissing my wife last night. Retro. I want to know who it was. Oh man! Oh, somebody's gonna get. <laughs> the 
This is mine. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ryan, Ryan Reynolds! Reynolds! No! Why? Why? It's okay. He's Deadpool. He regenerates. He didn't even get a line. <laughs> At noon tomorrow, where I start killing more people. I forgot. I think he had a cameo in Ted, too. It's been a long time since I saw the first Ted, but I believe he had a cameo in the first Ted. There's a lot of celebrities in this movie. Let me know in the comments section if I'm wrong, if he had a cameo in the first Ted. Let him know. Uh, I'm pretty sure he did. It's been like at least 10 years since I saw that movie. <gasps> oh, damn. damn. Mark Twain. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I just realized both Liam Neeson and Ewan McGregor are both in this. Yeah. Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan. Yeah. Took me a second to realize that. You think I don't know when you're lying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Please don't. Don't kill the dog. Please don't shoot the dog. Don't shoot the doggy, please. Come on, Clinch. Oh, you think I'm joking? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, oh. okay, 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 okay. Oh, say it was the must. It's Neil Patrick Harris. It's Albert Stark. Oh, no. Just a lie. You should have just said it was Neil Patrick Harris. Mm. I've missed you, baby. No longer the ride. The lonelier a man gets. Yeah. The woman he loves to soothe. Where's your gun? Bones. Oh, no. And we have time to be husband and wife. The proper way. Hey, asshole. Oh! Kill him. Oh, shit. I can't leave him like that. Kill him. Yeah, why not just take his gun and Please shoot put him? him. Like, Please put it in, in, in his in, ass. In his yes. Ass. Yeah. Yay. Literally, take his gun and shoot him right now. Right? Just kill him. Right. You're just going to save yourself so, many, so much problems later. I have no idea why you would not just take his gun and shoot him right then and That's there. That's dumb. And you gave away Albert's name, so you really should have shot him. Clinch is going to be looking for you. Yeah. But not if you killed him! <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh, I'm going to San Francisco, what I should have done a week ago. What about your dad? He's up on the hill burying himself next to mom. Damn, when did mom die? Look, I never meant to mislead. Okay, you know what, Anna? Don't even waste my time. And you had a million opportunities to tell me. Another million reference? I didn't tell you because I was trying to protect you. Oh, bullshit. You were looking out for your own self-interest. And because I liked you. I never thought I'd meet someone like you, Albert. Somebody who hasn't killed people? It's really hard to find. That's why women are always going, Oh my God, why are all the non-murderers taken? <laughs> <laughs> we were married when I was nine. Nine? Uh, what? Jesus. Every girl that I ever fall in love with ends up disappointing me. Do you love me? Oh, you know what? I'm over it. You, you can go. Was I supposed to go, oh, hi, I'm Anna. I've been f***ing a killer since I was... Oh, he waited a year. What a gentleman. Uh... Is your name even Anna? Or is it something terrible like Gwendolyn? <laughs> I'm that same girl you fell in love with. I just didn't think I deserved a good guy. But you know what? I do. I love you. Uh, it's a good thing you didn't shoot him. I'm sorry we keep harping on it, but... It's just... There's a trail out back that leads out to the ridge. Go. He's gonna kill Anna, just go. Albert, he always shoots on two. So he shoots on one. You got to shoot on one or zero or one and a half. Why didn't she just kill him? I don't know. We'll probably get crap for talking about that in the comics, but it still makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. Logically, I, well, that's no. what to do. Well, no, uh, because Albert has to do it. The the hero, I think that's Why the parody. Why did she kill him? Because the script said she can't do well, it. Well, also because Albert has to. <laughs> He ain't here, Clinch. How did he find his residence? Did they find it in the phone book or? They asked around. I guess, yeah, that, that makes more sense. Stark! Tony! Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? Oh, he's hiding amongst the sheep. Yep. That's smart. Must be stinky in there. Oh, sheep. Pretty sure we haven't seen Wes Studi yet. I gotta imagine there's gonna be some Indians that help out in some way. Sagat from Street Native Fight. Americans, Andrew. Sorry, Native Americans. <laughs> I got it. Oh! oh I it. The Red Rocket! Ah! Ah! I don't need it. I don't want it in my face. No, thank you. I gotta imagine that's what's gonna happen because we have not seen him at all.
Rad Stark Rad! It's actually pretty well shot. That's definitely Seth MacFarlane in the faraway shots. 100%. The white shots. Yep. Not a sun double whatsoever. Keep riding. Don't stop. I would ride to the side next to the train. That would smart. That'd be smart. Or do that. Or get in the train. How do we do that? What the hell do we do now? How do you get the horse and you in there? Let's not ask questions. I think this is when he sees the Native Americans. He comes back and has them help him against Clench. When we get out of this, I'm going to get you some horse. <laughs> nah. Sound good? Get you whatever you want. Even get you a cow if you want one of those. <laughs> <sighs> How the f do you make a fire? Yeah. Hello. Are, Oi. Are, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. <laughs> wow, I can't, I can't believe we're actually going to have... So oh. you just changed your mind <laughs> with no... We could all, all right. Tomorrow. That's a good oh, point. Okay. okay. All right. See, I Makes thought sense. they were playing Twister. What? Are you in pain right now? You don't like it. No, I love it. <sighs> yeah, it's just, it's just, it looks like a firecracker <laughs> wrapped in roast beef. <laughs> yeah. like okay, that. easy now. Sorry. Okay, is that right there? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Wrong. Okay, I get it. It's pretty big, right? Yeah, you're huge. No, I meant you. <laughs> what? Who is it, Anna? Anna, however you say her name? Yeah. Anna. Ruth, can I come in? Sure. They don't even know each other. Uh, met once Have or they twice. had a scene together yet? Say, maybe they had a deleted scene. Maybe. <gasps> He's coming up the stairs. Please don't shoot us on f***ing night. Yeah, you can't do that. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Oh, I bet that smells good. Sagat. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Nakla. Henata Imeko. Nakla. Oh, this is definitely giving me some Last of the Mohican vibes. Tuta! What? He speaks our. Native American language? Yeah. Pays to be a nerd, Aaron. Okay. This is the way. Drugs? Lose his shit. Peyote. <laughs> He's gonna freak the f out. <laughs> you were supposed to drink the whole thing? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh no! I'm not too. Maybe you should have no, said small sip. Totally you totally gonna freak out and probably die. No. Holy fuck. Oh. Is it gonna go animated? It's coming. I see it. I see it. Oh, when he came out of the womb. It's a boy, Mr. Stark. All right. Well, don't uh, you want to uh, come hold the baby? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Now you put that under your pillow and the tooth fairy will leave you a penny. Yeah! Oh, come on. Please welcome our graduation speaker, President Abraham Lincoln. Whoa. Who's going to play Lincoln? Who the hell is that? I Gilbert Godfrey. Godfrey. Four score and seven years ago. Oh, God. R.P. Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah. And I'm so f***ing rich, <laughs> I can have a 
all the licorice I want. I gotta show my dad this scene. He loves Gilbert Godfrey. Hey, Louise! Louise, check out this cool bike I got. Hey, you want to go down to the lake? Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> oh, my God! I've never... What? Oh, what? Oh, wow. Whoa. You're an idiot. Oh, trip. How can you be so blind with eyes that big? They're not that big. Mm. Oh. Mm. The lads and I have prepared something <laughs> special for you. You may not have the looks. You may not have the dash. Hey, a mustache. A, a mustache. mustache. They got a mustache. Okay. Come on. See at the pearly gates? Looks like it. What the hell? Trippy. We are the guardians of the future. Is that Patrick Stewart? Sounds like it. Ooh. The handle's gonna bite him. <laughs> yep. Okay, come on. <laughs> I know. Still, you can call it out, but that doesn't mean I'm ready for it. You're right, you're right, you're right. Face your fears. Louise or Anna? Anna. Anna, of course. Aw, she's your future. Oh! oh! <laughs> you can't the bird in the balls. That's so dumb. Why the why does it make me laugh? Hey, good. Let's find out if your wee boyfriend gives a shit about you. And let's see if he's smart enough to shoot me like you didn't. So he's been avoiding the fight all film. Now he's ready to go up against the craziest killer in the movie. Lewis, Ben, come and take this her. Albert, no, don't be stupid, Albert. Too late for that. He's already been stupid. On two. You're a pretty tough guy. Why don't you prove it? Gunfight. You and me, right here. That's right. Get him on his ego. Ooh. Take out your gun. The gun with the battle wounds. On three. The gun with the high XP. Pointed at me. You shoot on three. On one. one. And a half. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, look, look, look. Before you kill me, just grant me a few last words, all right? I got quick. <laughs> Let Anna live. This is not her fault. I kissed her. She didn't kiss me. I mean, she didn't tell me she was married, so it's a little bit her fault, I guess. So oh, God. Maybe just shoot her in the arm? One more thing. Um, my grandparents were Arabic, so I'm required by Muslim... Is he bleeding out in the arm? ...death chant immediately before dying. This will only take a moment. Poison bullet? <laughs> Something's wrong with him. Poison bullet? Oh, that's Baltimore. Oh, yeah, Poison Bullet. He's tripping out. Jungle light, I'm far away from over. You not feeling well? What's happening to me? There are a million ways to die in the West. Title. And uh, wild animals, you know, like snakes. You don't even have to get bitten. All you need is a little bit of the venom introduced into your bloodstream, and you're pretty much screwed. If you drain a certain amount of venom... That's so cool. You really only need one shot. Now, I knew my aim wasn't good enough to hit you anywhere important, but if I caught you by surprise... Very smart. Small amount of venom in an open wound is enough to kill a man if he's... Albert. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> that actually was a very smart plan. Well done, sheep boy. Hey, sorry I killed your husband. Oh, God, that was never going to work out anyway. <laughs> You're not really Arabic, are you? No, 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 no. Oh, no. thank God, because I was like, ah, oh, kill me. I know, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, no, oh, God. <laughs> no, we're fine. Hey, Louise. Oh, she wants him again? Hell no. 
If you want to talk about things, I would like that. I could come by your place, like, later tonight. Louise, I would, but I really got to go home and work on myself. Ah. Mm, throwing her words back at her. Yeah. Damn. That's a lot of sheep. Holy, how are you going to move That's anywhere? That's way too many sheep. Jeez. Jesus. And there's still one on the roof. Still one on the roof. Step right up, folks. Step right oh, up. Oh, this game again. To take a gander at the shooting gallery. I'll take a shot. Oh, ah! God. No way! I, hey! I've never, awesome. I've never seen this movie, but I know who that is. Hey! I like the way you die, boy. You died. Yeah! That's like the perfect ending. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Very That's good. awesome. Hey, you made a Django reference earlier, too. We were able to call a couple cameos, I guess. That was cool. Yeah. I like that. By the way, if you are listening to us on Apple or Spotify, <sighs> if you would not mind giving us a rating, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. If we're going to go on the comparison of, like, Ted or this... I mean, it's still kind of fresh, but I'd probably go the Ted route. But I still really enjoyed this. Um, there was a lot of raunchy comedy. Obviously, you're going to expect that in a Seth MacFarlane thing. Of course, but, of course. But, I mean, there was the, a lot of the comedy I did enjoy. There was definitely some that fell flat. Um, mm -hmm. But the thing I actually, I mean, we kind of talked about it during the reaction. The thing I really liked about it the most was the character arc that Seth, Seth MacFarlane went through. You know, like not feeling good enough, just uh, confidence and all that. But I like that. You know, I know it's a tropey thing we see in movies, like he needs a woman to help bring it out of him. But, you know, sometimes true love does prevail. And I really love that about this film was uh, or my favorite thing rather about this film was uh, the relationship and the chemistry between Seth MacFarlane or rather Albert and Anna. Mm -hmm. I thought they had such great interactions. I really appreciated those scenes. And when it actually did get serious, yes, again, there were some times of levity that helped, uh, you know, break the tension and all that. But I really appreciated it when, when we were, you know, in those serious romantic moments. Um, I thought they were really good together. And I actually really thought that she was really helping him break out of his shell, like of just like so locked in and focused on, you know, doing everything to impress Louise, if you will, and just yeah. like not feeling good enough in life. You know, and I just, I, I mean, that's just a, a good life lesson, you know, um, about confidence and not feeling like you're good enough. And I just, uh, I loved all those scenes and that was my favorite part of the film. Um, again, I like the comedy too, for the most part. There were, again, some flat moments, but overall, I, I that was my favorite part. What about you? I'll say I, I liked the movie. I don't think I liked it as much as you, but I had a good time was, yeah. watching it and reacting to it. I think mm -hmm. the thing that for me, that I like when movies are able to balance comedy and drama. Obviously, this is clearly a comedy. Mm. And this was made by Seth MacFarlane, who is the creator of Family Guy. And with that, I was not, I wouldn't say concerned, but part of me was thinking like, okay, what's this going to be like? This guy who's known for making TV a certain type of way. What's it going to be like when he transitions over to a film? And watching that, seeing that there was a lot of scenes that stopped just to have a bit like yeah. there was a lot of like family True. guy type cutaways, of not course. like cutaway to something else entirely. Like it's like they're referencing a thing and then it cuts to that thing. But like th things within that scene, they would cut to and pause the momentum of it. And also there was a lot of scenes that ended with a bit sometimes just to fill that quota. But I will say this did, this movie did make me laugh a lot. Mm. Uh, there were moments that there's a lot of moments that were dumb, but I think that, were balanced well enough with the moments that did work. Uh, I will say that my favorite part of the movie, kind of what Andrew touched on, was the aspect of him and Charlize Theron's character and their chemistry. Those are my favorite parts of the movie because yeah. they had really good chemistry. I like the arc that she taught, she brought him through with her kind of teaching him confidence and to believe in himself and the the nature of someone giving themselves over to a relationship when they're getting nothing in return. I'm like, that's a very relatable thing uh, that people go through and watching him go through his individual arc, as well as the development of their relationship mm -hmm. was very rewarding, very satisfying. I feel like, okay, this man is really capable of giving us really good, dramatic, genuine scenes. And I would have liked to have seen more of that balance with the comedy uh, and not only balance yeah. with the comedy, but I guess, integrated into the comedy because I feel like some of the best movies that are comedies but also have those things are ones that really mesh that together very well. Absolutely. And 
I, I fully agree with that. Uh, I also, too, on the flip side, I appreciated what Albert was bringing to the table in terms of their relationship because she's in such an abusive relationship and obviously yeah. a forced relationship. Right. Forced it's to design. marry this guy, yeah, at such a young age. So, you know, it was nice for her character to have, like, meet such a guy who's not about violence in any way and, like, just loves her for who she is. And I just thought they both brought out the best in each other. And I do agree with you that I would have liked, I mean, while there was a lot of comedy that I did appreciate, I did not feel it was balanced enough for me to go, oh my God, over the moon. Yes, yeah. perf perfection, which it's not an easy thing to do. You know, it's not like a, um, you know, a thing that's, uh, again, that I'm heavily criticizing the point of this is such an easy uh, fix. It, it's tough. Like I thought he did it well in, in Ted. Uh, but in this, I like that Back to the Future theme, Alan yeah. Silvestri. Uh, but I feel like in this film, it was, I mean, because like you said, there were a couple bits at the end where I'm like, you could see it coming, but still it just didn't, even though this is, again, like a raunchy type of comedy, just with what we were going with in some of these dramatic scenes, it just didn't well balance enough. Yeah. But having said that, I still found the film very entertaining and enjoyable. Uh, but, and also too, I actually thought it was, you know, the, uh, like it actually, just seeing if there's, oh, 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 oh. what the f somebody bring me one of them white women. <laughs> <laughs> I need to watch that movie so I can understand more. Of these films. Film. Oh no, I've, I've always, I've always heard how amazing it is. One uh, of Quentin Tarantino's best. Yeah. Well, I, I've only seen a few of his, uh, films, so I definitely got to get on that and many, many other ones of his, uh filmography but um yeah no overall though i i mean i did appreciate and enjoy it uh like you said i i would have liked definitely if they could have balanced a little more of the comedy and uh those dramatic scenes but th these two were by far my favorite i actually really even though he's a piece of crap i love neil patrick harris's performance he's fun he's, a lot of <laughs> he's fun. hysterical um which again you're supposed to hate his character so from that point of view he he you know he got business done if you will uh but uh yeah no i mean overall Fun, entertaining time. It was a good reaction, uh, I feel like. I don't know if I'm going to rewatch this movie, yeah. um, but you know, I had a fun time watching I, it. I had a fun time watching it with you. It had its laughs. Uh, I don't know if I'd watch it again, personally. I know you guys don't want us to give negative feedback about movies sometimes, but I got to be honest they and do. genuine with my opinion. Huh? They want negative. They want <laughs> <laughs> shit on this movie no but, i mean it, it had its had its moment and, like, and again i know it's it's supposed to be a comedy it's not supposed to be taken literally but i'm sorry that one moment where and again i get it he's supposed to get the shot off of the poison which by the way that was a well done scene by the way with how he came up with the venomous poison in the bullet i thought that was real i loved it great there, but there her are, having like he, if seth mcfarlane was gonna have her knock him out and do all that the gun shouldn't have been present or something i don't know it's just uh, that annoyed me really badly but like, yeah like she could have easily killed him right there like uh yeah there, there were a few moments too many for me there was like hi you get it you get the joke oh yeah yeah like what, when what, i had to stop and go back and explain yeah. like the hair thing I'm like oh, we we got it we're yeah. smart you don't have to sp oh yeah and then, and, then, and then seth mcfarlane after he made a joke he's like explaining the joke he's like did you get that one it's like hey, bro like that was fun we gotta trust it. your audience we got it yes we understand yes, yes also i thought it was weird that i understand it was for the point of comedy but how Seth MacFarlane's character got to have his arc in gaining confidence, but his friend just like is oh G uh, just like the, doesn't Rebecca. change from start to beginning, yeah. from start to finish. Like well, he's not a she just changes anymore, her. Maybe. She's not a version anymore. But <laughs> all of a sudden she's like, okay, I just changed my mind. I was like, I wish we would have had done more with that. Yeah. But overall, if I had to rate it, I'd probably give it like a. 6.57. Like, like a 6. Yeah, it's, I'll go 6.5 out of 10. I'll go a solid 6. I was going to give it a 5.5, but that feels a little harsh. So I'll, I'll go 6.5. It made me laugh, so i got to give it a 6. Six. You know, I'll give it a 6.7 just for that Doc Brown cameo that I'm probably going to be accused of having seen or known about, but I'll give it a 6.7. 6 6.3 for, for, for that Doc point, Brown. Doc Brown. And, and Django, Django. And Ewan McGregor. And, and Ryan Reynolds. Movies, and Ryan Reynolds, who had no lines, but it was nice to see him anyway. Oh my God, so many cameos. I guess you could also say Lois from Family Guy. Guy, right i mean there was just, some family guy she was there, was, there was a lot of great cameos you got to give that the film that i mean seth mcfarland definitely knows how to get on the phone and say you're gonna cameo my movie. you're gonna cameo you too you too i mean it's got a lot of connections it's true it's got a true lot of that. connections but true you that. guys do you guys have a lot of connections did you guys like this movie let us know in the comments below uh we had a great time watching it and hope to see you guys pretty soon all right guys adios Goose. <laughs>